both direct, essentially in both directions between Wheaton Beck and Bradley. Oops. Traffic report said morning by the way. Um don't lie. Um well, there we go, I think I'm going back now. Radio one, radio two. Got it back now, there's music on. Um I stopped last night um halfway between Leicester and um where I'm going. O Oakham, I think it's called. Um, it's 7.26 now, I'm going to be there for 8 o'clock. So, um, yeah, just listening to the traffic then, there's loads. It said uh, between no, the M1 is closed north and south from Northampton, so I'm glad I didn't stay in Northampton last night. Uh, also, there's an accident uh, coming through rugby, which would have been an alternative I could have taken. Rugby's not too far from here, actually. It's, um, Say about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Anyway, onwards, some lights, I think. A bit windy last night. Follow the Uppingham Road for 12 miles. So, Uppingham, that's it. So I'm heading towards Uppingham and then turning off. Stay, I've never, I don't really stay on late bys next to a busy road like this, but I was running out of time and it was pitch black. I only really got rocked by cars that were speeding and uh, wagons that was going a bit fast. But you could tell the ones that weren't going you know, to normal speed because it was felt like a rock but nothing bad. But at one point I nearly spilled my broom because the, uh, the wind off of the vehicles. Well, I've just been listening to the traffic there. Um, and I'm so glad I'm not in Northampton today or this morning because all the plot toaster are anywhere down that way because there's just <laughs> the A5's closed, uh, the road from Northampton to Rugby is closed, the A1M, uh, so the A1 is closed, M1 is closed both ways. So it'd be a nightmare trying to get to the normal area back north. Anyway, I'm guessing I'm here now. I rang this guy yesterday and said I'd be here. I asked him what time I'd be here. Alright, so dead end. Turn left, then you have reached your destination on your left. Um, can I turn around now? Let me have a look. gamble that there's a turning point. Probably isn't. It's a quiet street. I'm reversing. I'll reverse out. Right, we're done here. Off to uh, Long Eaton now. Uh, I can't turn around in this space. I have to back up. Yay. I love the sound of a V8. You wouldn't found that is four minutes, twenty seconds faster. Do you want to take it? Yes. Taking the wrong turn to boot. 
15 southbound, it's slow from junction 20. The A5, one of the main alternatives, is absolutely dreadful. If you can avoid this, please do. If you're heading north to Oxford on the A34, there's been an accident near Islip. The queue's there back to the M4 at junction 13. Kent, two lanes are closed on the M20, northbound junction 2, that's routing towards the M55, an eight mile queue reported on the approach. Out of London, overturn van on the A2, it's eastbound at oh, Dartford oh Heath. Those queues are going back to the four Traffic down south, it's bad. Are we done? Apparently they didn't order, order this stuff until January. But he's taking, the, he's taking delivery of it, so I'm, I'm happy with that. It means I don't have to do any more paperwork for it. I'm a bit warm now, though. So anyway, next drop is, last drop, Bakewell, Derbyshire. So, going up through Chesterfield, I might stop in Chesterfield and have uh, some breakfast. I've already had breakfast this morning and I've already had my sandwiches for today. I might have, no, actually, I've got a chilli con carne. I think I might have chilli con carne for my dinner. In Chesterfield now. Across the roundabout, third exit. Uh, if you're in Chesterfield and you come in from the M1 down this road, I forgot what it's called, and you're going to turn right on this roundabout. Don't, don't go in the right hand lane, go in the far left lane. Because it catches so many people out of this. Stay in the left lane all the way around the roundabout. Take the exit, A617, then Go left on the roundabout, first exit, Bakewell. Uh, well. Have you going left After here? Yards, don't stop at the roundabout, it looks like you stop but you don't. First it's exit. a filter lane. It's not even a filter lane, it's just a go left on the roundabout, lane that carries first on. First exit. I've been through it this time of day before, loving the no, no traffic. You have reached your destination on your left. Road, then wow. at the end of the road, turn right. We're not to the river there. And that's why it's good not to rush. Home first, though. Turn on the car. Get the uh, the Volvo back. Just vacuum the floor. Just swept it, but I get a vacuum and a a proper mop. Well, hand mop. Right in front of the windscreen then. I think it was Kingfisher. 